Good morning everyone. We are here today and we are going to show you how to set up Tabletop Simulator to play Warhammer 40k. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your library and go to the workshop. Once you're here in the workshop, you're going to want to search up something called Battle Scribe to TTS. You'll find it should be the very first thing. Great tool for getting your army set up and ready to go ahead of time. Once you have that and you're subscribed, hit the subscribe button down here. You're ready to go. From there, all you need to do is go back to the workshop and say you're playing Necron. You'll come, you'll find your Necron art assets here same idea um, for instance I've already picked this one but go you'll go ahead and hit subscribe on the assets you want to use and then you'll be ready more or less to go so once you have that all done you're gonna build up your roster in battle scribe you hear see here I have a Necron roster built up so with your Necron roster, you go over to a web page that's literally battlescribe to tts.net and upload your roster. So it looks like it's going to give us the same code for uploading it. So. From there, you copy that code and you will open up Tabletop Simulator. So, with this, with Tabletop Simulator loaded up, you'll hit Create and just start up a single player game. From there, you have this workshop section and as you can see mine is a total mess but what you're gonna wanna look for is that table that battle scribe to tabletop simulator that you just had I'm gonna load up actually a completely different table so we're gonna go to object tables and I really like just this giant rectangular one so now we're gonna come back here And then what we're going to do, don't click and load the Battlescribe to TTS. You want to click the three dots here and go to additive load, which will add it to this, to what we already have. So now we have this set up. We again need to come up here to games, come back down to the workshop and that army that you were just looking, that we just had up. Um, let's see, I believe this is the one that I like. For this one, you're going to come to search. Yeah, this is the this is the Necron one I really like. So, for this one, we're going to... I have a Catacomb Command Barge. Um, I got some Wraiths. I got the Illuminator. On this one, the Triarch Stalkers kind of suck, so we're gonna we're not gonna use the Triarch star, Stalkers from this asset pack. But we have some Tomb Blades in there. Doom Scythe. and warriors and if you notice I'm just dragging the assets out onto the table so for this we're also going to come here and wait and if I remember right this one why does this one look the same Alright, oops. 
Oops, we need one of him too. I'm gonna grab him for this list. So we now have all of the models we want to use, and you only need to pull out one of each. So then what you're going to do is where it says code here on the Battlescribe Army Creator. Click code and hit control V to paste your code. And then you submit your code. Oh, and it's saying the army doesn't exist. So we're going to come back here, choose a new file. Let's just try reloading the entire page. Okay, so it generated a new code for me. So we'll put our new code, submit code, and now it brings up these cards over here. So first is our catacomb, our catacomb command barge. We click on that, and then we cl just click on the model. Now we're done our illuminator, click on the model, done. Necron warrior, um, there's our Nightbringer, our Treyarch stalker, our tomb blade, our wraith, and finally our doom scythe. All right, so we have told it what models to use. Now we're just gonna hit create army. And it's going to take a minute. Well, we're going to let it generate the army here real quick. All right, now it's finished completing our army. We can click this, delete that. We'll grab our, our Necron Warriors. Set them up in their squads here. Oops, almost lost our command barge. That wouldn't have been a good, a good thing. So now the models all look the same as what we had before. And we're going to delete that. We're going to go ahead and delete out all of that. Right click, delete that too. But what the battle scribe to TTS did was A, it pulled out the proper number of models. But also now if you hover over them, you'll see they have stat lines, they have weapon stats and they have all of their abilities listed out already on the model. So, now that we got this, um, you'll come up here to Games, Save Load, and I'm not going to save this because I've already got this army saved, but you're just going to hit Save Game, it'll add just put it in your root folder for now and give it a name and save it. And that'll save you that'll save us a lot of time later when you actually get into a table to play. And we'll kind of I'll kind of give you an idea why that'll save you the time later right now. No, I don't want to load that. Um Let's see, map So, we'll just load this one for now. And 
just going to make me click through all of this crap that didn't load right. Okay, so that's all. We've clicked through all of that. So now we can come back up here to game, load save, and that army you just created. You can do an additive load. And it's probably going to put shit where you don't really want it. But you have all your models now. Just go ahead. A lot of the tables, you will just be able to pull highlight all of your army and just pull them back off the table. So that's that kind of gives you an overview why you're going to want all of this. If you check down in the description of the video, I already actually have a bunch of assets put into a collection that you can use, including the Battlescribe to TTS um, mod that you're going to want to use. Also, there will be a link to our Discord server, so come on in and join us. Hope to see you guys in the grimdark future.